Item number 126-2018, consider approval of the consolidation plan application 2018-0027, Johnson Consolidation Plan Number 1, location 118 Puma Road, R1 Zoning District, applicant Kevin E. and Shirley A. Johnson. This is a simple subdivision, actually it's a lot line revision. We're actually removing this dash line is going to be eliminated uh, and ends up resulting in about a three of the lot. Uh, they addressed all technical comments. It was recommended for approval by the planning commission. No sewage issues here because it's an existing dwelling. Uh, no new lots can be created. So it's uh, as simple as they get, a lot of revision. Were you at the uh, planning commission meeting or yes. the unanimous decision? Recommended approval also, I'm sorry. And it was unanimous. It asked Bruce at one time to show if there was a three to two vote or whatever it was. Okay, Pardon me? I'll make a motion that we approve this. It doesn't matter how we make it. So second. Okay. We have a motion by Cindy, second by Tom. Uh, any discussion? Nope. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Zero. Let the record show five zero. Next item number 127-2018. Consider a motion to recommend payment to Youngblood in the amount of $349,215.45 for application for payment two for contract A 2018 payment maintenance program. Joe? Yes, this is the, this is the second payment to uh, Youngblood Paving for uh, contract A. The work was completed today through the, uh, through the through June 23rd. Uh, this, we'll have one more payment and uh, clean up some punch list items before we uh, make recommendation for the next one on that contract. Questions from the board? Hey Joe, there's quite a few people complaining about their down spots coming out on the road. Are they going to go and correct them? I need some addresses. Some addresses or yeah, we'll call it over. Yeah, okay. Okay. We have a motion, please. Cindy Fisher, motion. Second. Second. Ron Flair. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Zero. Carol, let the record show five zero. <coughs> Next resolution number 128 2018. Consider a motion to. Recommend payment to Young Blood in the amount of $227,539.55 for application for payment two for contract B 2018 pavement maintenance program. This is the general fund uh, budget project. This is the second payment for work completed through uh, June 23rd. Again, we'll be finishing up punch list and uh, we'll final out the project before the August meeting. Okay, questions? Motion, please. Sure. Cindy Fisher. I second. Ron Flair, second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carol let the record show 5 0. Next item number 129 2018. Consider a motion to recommend payment to TA Robinson paving in the amount of $54,319.37 for application for payment two for Cecil Park Tennis Court project. This is the second payment. Uh, this is again all work through June 23rd. All the work's been completed except the color code on the course, which will occur next spring after we get the get the ask for a chance to oxidize and it's, it's open for uh, the use by the residents. Good question. It takes a whole year for for that to be exposed. Well, we're, we're trying something different here. We've had some some pains with color code on some of the asphalt. And we talked, Bill and I talked about letting them get some weather on it, let some of the oils get out of it before we uh, proceed with the <coughs> color code on so we can possibly get a better application. So that's just that's just the color code. The lines will be there. The lines are there now. It's usable and yes, it's usable, yes. Very well. Any other questions? Tom, did you have something else? Yeah, I was gonna say um, normally you have to wait at least six months I don't understand if you put that coating on asphalt, but it won't make any sense to do it in six months, which is when we're shutting the park down anyhow, so then we get weather's for a winter. For yeah, weather for a winter, and if, you know, we can take care of it this way. Mm -hmm. Rob, uh, motion, please. Second. Okay. Okay. 
Tom Casciola and Cindy Fincher second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. By zero. Next, resolution number 130-2018 related to the case of Chartiers versus CHJ, Cecil Township and other intervened. Consider a motion to authorize Cecil Township to pay a proportionate share with participating municipalities and authorities in the expense to retain an engineer expert to conduct an independent review and analysis concerning the basis of the rate increase. Could you please? Thank you. Alan Checker. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, this, I, last month the board authorized uh, the township to intervene in this uh, case that was filed against the Chartier's Houston Joint Authority regarding their recent rate increase. And as I believe Gretchen informed you recently, uh, last week Judge Lucas did grant a temporary injunction staying the rate increase until the hearing next week. Uh, and there are five uh, plaintiffs slash interveners involved here. Uh, Cecil Township, the Cecil Municipal Authority, North Stravane Township, the North Stravane Authority, and Chartiers Township. Uh, the other four have all already agreed to retain uh, Larry Lennon, who's a respected engineer, as an expert to review the uh, rate increase and the basis for it and to serve as an expert in this case. And they're asking the township, since we are also saying that we pay one-fifth or 20% uh, of the fees. Uh, the hourly rates are, uh, I think it was 160 an hour, maybe 165 for Mr. Lennon, and then it was a little higher for court time. But um, we're in, uh, we think that we should participate on a program basis. Uh, so that's, so we're recommending that. The, the, um what does it mean to the residents? Do you have any of that in your files? Is it uh, a five dollar rate that would be modified to a ten or eleven dollar? Yeah, I know it was a substantial, like you know, double or more increase, and I know there have been articles in the newspaper about it. Um, and it was enough, obviously, that the judge wanted to put a halt to it and hear about it. Um, so you know, without without even having a full hearing, so that I think is is good news. That the court's taking a close look at this case. Well, that, that's why I want the public to know. That's what, why we're bringing this up. Right. Now, my only issue is that there's three, actually three municipalities are the are involved in the action. Chartiers, North Ravine. Right, and Cecil. Cecil. And, and to, to me, we should each pay a third. If the our Cecil Council Municipal Authority is, uh, if they're considered a part of it, they're still part of us, just like North Ravine is. Sure, but I, I guess that they're a part, they're a separate party to the case. So they for, are, for the same, um, towards the same means. I disagree that they're their own individual body. Like we, they have their own funds for that purpose. And while they may be located in Cecil, the same as my Strabane authorities participating, I'm okay with splitting it. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why doesn't uh, Chartier's municipal authority participate? Yeah. Yeah. Six of they don't have a municipal authority. That's who we're suing. I mean, it's the. They don't have one. No, Chartier's right. Township. The Correct. township offers the sewers they have on the That's right. So, so they're, they're the only entity that I don't right. I mean, my understanding is that the other four have already agreed to pay a proportionate share, and we're the only ones who would not have taken that action. And so if we take if we take the action, all five entities will, will pay one fifth. I think how we need to protect out. the residents, and I'll make the motion that we pay our program share to be one fifth. Second that. So a motion and we have a second. Any discussion? Is a case for one third term or anything? No? All right. Uh, seeing this motion, may we vote? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. I'm sorry, here. One, two. Frank? Yes. Aye. Okay. And opposed? There's no and no. Carol 